Information tonight about Bob Beshera's secret life. The Gross Point Park businessman is sitting in a jail cell right now awaiting trial for his wife's murder. But the case is expected to roar back to life next week when he's due back in court. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl is standing by live outside the courthouse tonight. And Ronnie, you had a chance to talk with the attorney for one of the women involved in Beshera's alternative sex life that we've heard so much about. What has he told you now? Yeah, it was a pretty interesting conversation. Now, of course, during the course of this murder investigation, it was revealed that Bob Bashara was living a double life. And tonight, for the first time, we are learning that one of the women that says she was recruited into Bob's sex circle says she didn't know he was married at the time. To the outside world, businessman Bob Bashara had it all. A successful wife, two great kids, and a nice home in Gross Point Park. But his life wasn't what it appeared, and it was exposed following the murder of his 56-year-old wife, Jane. Did she know that Bob was married? She did not. David Draper is the attorney for the third woman in Bob's life. He's not going public with her name yet, but he expects she will be called to testify during Bashara's upcoming murder trial. I think she will be a, a person that probably both sides would like to talk to and find out what she knows about this case. Just how did a successful woman living hundreds of miles away in Oregon get involved with Bob Bashera? It was through the internet and Bashera's involvement in the BDSM lifestyle. In 2012, Action News investigators obtained internet blog posts from the website called alt.com. Bashera was known as Master Bob. His mistress at the time, Rachel Gillette, went by MB's underscore Bella, which stood for Master Bob's slave and Bella, meaning beautiful. In 2011, she posted, we are looking for a special girl, a third to round out our relationship, someone who will live with us on a full-time permanent basis, who is free to commit to being a part of a loving, nurturing, male-dominated home. Master Bob is the head of our relationship. According to the blog post, Bob Bashara and his then-mistress found the woman they were seeking. Now that woman is no longer willing to be submissive to Master Bob, and she is prepared to take the stand and testify even if it means sharing personal and embarrassing details of her kinky sex life. What's very uh, powerful is for somebody to come forward, even if they don't want to, even if it's uncomfortable, even if it may be embarrassing. And I did have a chance to speak with Joe Gintz's attorney tonight. She couldn't confirm if she thought he was going to be testifying during this preliminary examination, but it is expected he will be. This prelim is expected to get underway 9 o'clock Monday morning. If convicted on these charges, Bob Bashara is looking at the possibility of life behind bars. We're live tonight in downtown Detroit. Carolyn, back to you. Ronnie, I know we've been following this case for a long time, and it sounds like we're going to hear some uh, quite interesting things on the stand. Yeah, and this prelim is expected to last a week, so it's going to be a very interesting week indeed.